Hi guys, we're going to talk about the week of February 14th to February 20th. There were some things that were coming to me this morning about last week's video and some information about that. It'll come to me as we're sitting here, okay? So let's ask the Spirit to reveal anything we need to know for the week of February 14th through February 20th. I'm going to cut the deck. Cut it again. Okay. At our center energies, we have the moon. We do have a full moon coming this week, I believe. On the 16th, maybe. Um, he fell out when I was shuffling before I started, so he wanted to show up again. That's the Four of Pentacles, crossing or supporting. At our foundation, we have the Emperor, which we had him last week, I believe. Then we've got the Five of Swords in our past. We've got the Four of Swords in our crowning position. Queen of Wands in our near future. Okay, so let's see what story the Spirit's going to tell. Okay, I'm... Um, this is giving me an impression of our origins. So... I feel like um, all of us should remember that we all come from the same root, and that root is earth. There is, we, we have a duality. We have a duality, okay? There's the earth in us, and then there's the stars in us. It's our earthly flesh, and it's our heavenly spirit, okay? Um. I feel like it's been a long process and that all kinds of things have come forth from the union of earthly beings and heavenly beings. Okay? You know, Genesis, Genesis 6 is coming to mind right now. The sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. Okay? Okay. I feel like there's a, a long history of all different kinds of forms, shapes, all different kinds of things that we have thought were mythology, and I'm thinking that they're not. Um, but the one unifying factor is that we're still all made of the same. It's like elements, the same we all have the same we all have the same elements there's like okay the periodic chart is what i see and it's been an experiment in combining the different minerals and gases and everything else in that chart and experimenting and seeing what's going to come out by the mixing of um the elements not the elements in the elemental chart the elements water Earth, fire, air. Okay? So I'm seeing this big mixing pot. Everything has been thrown in. And with the catalyst of the four elements, the, the rest of the elements in the periodic table came together, shifting and forming and shaping and all these different things, all these different shapes, all these different sizes and creatures and all kinds of things. That's where we start. That's where we start. So the impression I get is you are a universal being. All the way back to the beginning. You are a universal being and there's many, many, many included in that. I mean, more than we could ever fathom. What does that have to do with the four of pentacles? So I feel like these are the earth beings. 
obviously with the pentacles, I'm feeling like, feeling like these are the earth beings. Okay. I feel like some are very base. Some are very advanced and some are right in the middle. I want to say that those in the middle are related to water. Water. You know the ocean? <laughs> Do you know the ocean? Um, okay, so there's a process. It's just I feel a process going on with us, okay? So many, 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 many are still here. Then I feel like this level here is of the water. And it's because I'm seeing the Vesica Pisces in his arms and how he's holding that pen pentacle. And then there are some highly advanced here. I feel like there are exponentially more that are still here, you guys. I feel like this... These waters are representing earth. And then I feel like there's some much more advanced here. And I feel like this is transitioning, you know, like we are of the earth, you guys, but I feel like this is our next. We're, it's like we're already there. I feel like there's a family up there. Okay. And we're already connected. So I, this is heart and mind also, heart and mind connection here. Your heart, when you connect your heart and your mind together, um, you have access to the higher realms here. You know, you guys, I, I've been feeling that now that I'm back and making videos again, the spirit comes on me and it's trying to get a message across. And so though these are supposed to be, and they will, they will relate to the week and to the energies for the week. But I know that they're also trying to bring me and us a story. It's different than the story that we grew up with. Okay. And it's about our origins. And of course, we've talked a lot about that on this channel. It's different than what we grew up with. It's, it's nothing like what we think it is. Okay. So I think that comes through a lot. That's really been on my mind a lot. Okay. Okay. So this, you guys, the moon means hidden things. Okay, these hidden things are coming to the forefront. I'm feeling this at the, at the pentacle at the top of his head. The hidden things are coming to the forefront. Okay, so don't be surprised. I just, uh, you should be open. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. Okay, be open. Be open, but listen to your heart. And that's how you discern, you know, truth from lie. Okay. Okay. At our foundation, see, he's totally giving me this ruler of the earth type feeling at our foundation. This is what I feel from him. Um, he rules the earth half-heartedly, half-heartedly. His, his heart isn't in it. And I feel like it's because um, he knows that he knows the plan. I feel like he knows that we have to go through this tough period of growth 
and expansion and learning. And he has to rule over that, though he knows that that's not the truth. And it's like he's waiting for the, the outcome to come forth, the, the better things to come forth, his, his truth to come forth. Because though he, he's always ruling, even in, in the darkness, but that's not who he is. That's not the truth of, of anything, of reality, right? This darkness that we perceive out in the world, it's not really the truth. And he has to rule over that reluctantly. It's like he, he morphed. I'm getting all these, you know, shape-shifting type ideas in my head, okay? So it's like he morphed into the being he had to be to rule over these dark periods, these transformational periods. And I feel, I don't feel like this is God or source as much as I feel like it's man, men, man, humankind, So how do you relate this to yourself? Um, It's like we have to accept that part of ourselves. Okay, this guy is in all of us, and he's been the ruler over a lot of chaos, war, and, and duality, okay? But I feel like it just, we're overcome. I've, I just heard the word triumphant. Okay, so we've been through a lot, and it's, it's recorded within us. It's recorded within us. It's in our DNA. It will always be there. It will always be there. It's our makeup. It's who we are. And what's in us is all of these different creatures the whole history is recorded in us. And it's like we're emerging with a new... I almost want to say the word species. Okay, the Five of Swords is in our past. Yeah, This is what it took for us to get where we are, okay? My God, it's a cross in the communication. It's war. It's fighting. It's struggling, striving, toiling in our past. All of these things, all the, this, this dark cloud from our past. Okay? But again, what I feel with this guy is that he's looking back at it almost with appreciation and he's taking his gifts with him from that experience. That's what I feel like he's doing. Taking the gifts with him, we had to go through it, okay? Can you relate this to something um, that you're going through now? You know, take with you the gifts that your hardship has brought to you, right? And look ahead. So in the forefront of our minds, what our focus would be this week. This is normally a card of healing. For us, it's always, it's always holding that Excalibur down here. See how the fourth isn't with the other three? Um, holding it as our secret weapon inside of us. I I saw the sword here and us pulling it out from here. Here. And we're pulling it out. I feel like um, we need to honor that this week. Honor. Reverence for the journey. Okay. It's the second time the word has come and it's melancholy. I really, really feel like we are putting this in our, 
past completely and totally separate, almost separating from it. It's like, you guys, it's just this huge karmic cycle. I, I even see it. I see the past and then I see this huge gap and then I see us. Okay. Um, I, I don't want us to forget because it's been so, the word is valiant. There's so much valor. And if you get down to the root of that word, I'm sure it's worth. Valor and worth are the same. And value. Value in it, in the journey. So, so, so much. Which is why we had to suffer it in the first place. So this is normally a card of healing. Um, I, what I want to say is you are healed. Believe it. Okay. And what you gained from it is within you. The power within. Yep. There's something here about not, um, not forgetting. And because I think what's happening with our memories and with those stories and with those parables and with that volume, that book that has been written, I, I, it crystallizes, is what the Spirit just said. I was going to say gemstones. It turns into gemstones, you guys. And where do the gemstones sit? Remember that our um, something coming forth from our energy centers, it's almost like mineral crystallization, magnesium. Our, it's like our, the center of our chakras have the same growth as a magnesium crystal. Okay, I, I feel like that's, so that would mean that um, the crystals show our growth, the memories show. And what are the crystals that are at the end of these dendrites? If you know how a crystal grows and you can see the chemical makeup of the crystal, right? It looks like branches spreading out. Those gemstones are the um, fruit at the end of the branches. Okay, it, it's what makes you fruitful and abundant now. It's what makes the world look like a garden to you now. Okay, a very, very important part. Okay, so not only that, I'm seeing the um, stained glass window. Okay, and I, I feel like that means that A lot of things. So we've got these fractals and different colored window panes. And that is a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Because without that diverse and unique perspective and different vision with all these different shades over the vision, we wouldn't be what we are. Okay? So I'm getting the sense of huge family. To just this massive, massive family. We're all one. We are all one family, you guys. And it's important to keep those gemstones because they show the different perspectives, the different facets that all of us have brought to the summation. Okay. Every time I look at the card, it just shouts to me to... Um, remember, to remember everything, to remember everything, okay? I'm seeing the, um, our spine and it has trees growing out of it and it has, the, the trees have crystals growing out of it and I, those trees are books. Those trees are books. The volumes that have been written in the energies. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. 
the Queen of Wands is our near outcome. Um, what pops out to me is this, the sunflower. So what I see her doing is going out beyond the solar system. Okay. I, I feel like, um, what we have been doing here in this solar system, and there's not just us, what we have been doing here is being accomplished. And so we're expanding our knowledge beyond to the next, to the purpose, to the purpose. So why, why? We're going to learn why we had all of these. Um, all I see is this enterprise of working from one, like a planet to the next. Okay, why, why, why we did that? <laughs> What is the purpose? What's beyond that? Why? It's like, why did all this energy gather into this solar system here with the sun in the first place? I, I feel like the ultimate word here is experience. Okay, but hopefully we'll get more on that. So... You've, you've also been this, if you can bring this down to the microcosm, you've also been many things in your life and you've done many different things in your life. It's all been for a purpose. All of the, all those things, those different things that you have done, all those characters that you have played in your life, all the different roles you have played in your life. It's like it was all meant for this one beautiful purpose, not, not only for you, but for the whole and I feel like it's been so important in getting us to the other side. Getting us to the other side of this chasm. Okay, I don't know, but I feel like she's off to other places. The Queen of Wands is off to beyond. I don't know why. Okay, so let's take the next four cards. This is the Fool. New adventure, of course, because we've crossed the chasm, I think. Um, and it looks like, oh, this is what I was thinking of. Okay, so let it come to me here. Um, like we're starting again. So, guys... You know how he's stepping off a precipice? That's interesting because when we first started our journey, we dropped into the abyss. We dropped into the darkness. We dropped into the black hole. We dropped into the valley of the shadow of death. However you want to put it, it's all a parable. Um, here we go again. But with a completely new... Um, We're new beings. Oh, duh. Okay. It's speaking to me of the regeneration. It's speaking to me of um, rebirth, but regeneration. Don't, I, you're a new person. You're a completely new person. Mind, body, and soul. And you know how? It, you've been calibrated to receive this new energy, you guys, what it does is it lights up your DNA. You are a new creature. You are a new creature. That doesn't sound so foreign to those of us who have read the Bible. Does it? You are a new creature. 
you, you're completely new. And you know who you're holding in these gemstones? Your old self. Okay? I almost see it in a um, very strange way. <laughs> in a very strange way. It's like you have expanded and grown and exploded outside of your own skin. And you are holding little bits of your previous self in these gemstones. That's how I see it. So, no, no, just no. Take into your knowing that because this is how you do it. It's just to know that you are a completely new creature right now. Completely new creature. And you're stepping off into the next level, the next journey, right? So, Everything that we think right now, because this is how we did it last time, everything that we stood upon, everything that we thought was foundationally true was completely shaken up. The earth quaked and broke apart and we were standing on a completely new foundation, right? It's like, get ready for that again. Okay. But I'm seeing the eight of wands in my head, which means it's going to be so much quicker this time. It took us years to come out of that one species again. Okay. This time I feel like it goes quick, more quickly. Okay. He, he's always showing up, isn't it? This is in your environment. Um, the Excalibur. Good. This what this is saying to me is that you've overcome death. You're dead as a doornail right here, okay? And you've overcome that, okay? But you've got all of those swords. You were pierced with all of those swords in your death, and now you're carrying them right here. I'm seeing um, a quiver and arrows. Those are the swords. The arrows are the swords. You're holding them right here. It, those swords are um, so valuable when you have to start a journey. Swords are communication, but they're also weapons, okay? Of course, not to hurt anybody, but to teach you. Weapons in your arsenal. Arsenal. We should probably look up that word. Arsenal. Okay, and then in your hopes and fears, oh, yes, this is the Ten of Pentacles. Is it upside down? No. Okay, so the impression I get from this card today is that you are one of those stars in the orb around these other people. You are one of those pentacles. Um What I feel like with this, you guys, is that you are able to observe um, everything that goes on around you and look at look at how you rise above it, look at how protected you are, look at how enlightened you are, look at the light that you are shining to the others. It's like we float in this realm now, kind of, you know, above it all type feeling That's your next, this is the next creature. This is what it looks like. This star in a globe in an orb, it's a spirit being, and it just kind of floats around. And this is not, this is much more deep than I am letting off here. Um, because it just flashed across my mind as true. You know, don't take it so lightly. This is, this is really your ability in the future. Okay. 
what I want to say is that um, all of this sounds like a fairy tale, okay? You guys, it is the fairy tales that tell us the truth of what we experience. You just have to be able to relate the symbolism to what is actually going on in your reality, okay? It's all symbolism, but it is so very, very true. Always has been. King Arthur, Excalibur, the slaying the dragon, it has always been true. Every last jot and tittle of the fairy tale is true. It's just, can you relate to the symbolism of it? These are from um, the stars are from different realms. And, and that's you. So, Arsenal, a magazine. Super important because we're talking about the Akashic Records um, and holding all of those memories and that story and the volume of the books. It's a magazine and it's part of you now. It's in your arsenal here. Okay? So you need that, you guys. So what I'm seeing is an another step of... Um, I, I, what I'm seeing is a, like a literature course and a it, it's being able to read the second level of the stories or the third level of the stories. You know, there's always something on the surface, right? But underneath there's so much more. And I feel like that's that's our new ability, our new superpower is to just, I think just like what I was talking about understanding the symbolism and how it actually relates to our reality. Okay. I don't know if it gives me the, here it is. Dockyard workshop, house of hand work. Okay, the origin of the word is Venetian. I'm talking about Italy, or am I? I don't think so. Okay, so... Yeah, we're definitely talking about Venus here. Okay, take that as you will. Are you kidding me? What? The two most brilliant cards in the deck, besides the sun. The two most brilliant cards in the deck, okay? So this is your hopes and fears. It's a little bit scary to... Understand that you're a completely new creature, right? I'm sure we don't even grasp the whole of it yet. But that's, that's the next step in the journey is to grasp that completely. We might have an understanding in our knowledge until we experience it. It is just a rumor, okay? The Ten of Cups is our future outcome, So what I'm seeing here is a um, integration of all things, okay? There's 10 planetary bodies in our solar system that are significant, including the sun, okay? I'm seeing all of these things, being able to integrate them. So what is sticking out to me is the rainbow 
but it these are musical instruments and they're all in one accord. Thank you, spirit. They're all in one accord. Guys, okay, so you have mastered certain things in your life, okay? So many things in your life, in your long, long history. And we have finally mastered the things that we need to know for this, the 3D, for the earthly realm, okay? What I think this is pointing to is the next step and the how all of this in our solar system, how everything works together, okay? So what I feel like is that as you, I, I feel like you're the earth, you are made of the dust of the earth, right? You are the earth and what is gathering around you is absolutely amazing, okay? I think I saw this last week. It's from one end of the spectrum to the other. From the darkest creature you can imagine to the lightest creature you can imagine, okay? I feel like when you have a full... understanding, when you can assimilate all of that knowledge and wisdom and energy, your life here becomes the garden. Okay. So if it, it, it already is to some extent, right? You guys, but this is a, the, it's the next step. It's that 10. It's the X. It's the X. And there's even, wow. There's even the rainbow in the picture, you guys, which I didn't realize. I think my picture is reminding me of the 10 of cups right now. Okay, Ten of Cups. Um, it's a full integration of all the energies that I think we haven't been allowed to even touch because of the old creature. The old creature wasn't adept. It, it couldn't accept those ten energies of the solar system. Okay, so we dealt with the sun, we dealt with the moon, and we dealt with earth. Now that expands, that expands, and we're, so if you can, again, take this in on the microcosm level, you have grown so much, you have mastered so many things, you have done so many different things in your life, you are now gathering people to you. I feel like a magnetic, that you are gathering people and things to you that you're going to assimilate into your new being, and it's like you're writing this new story and all of it becomes you. All of it. Everything that is gathering, that you are gathering, that you are attracting. All of these higher energies, okay? Though you still have the, the lower ones too. And I feel like they're fitting right into puzzle pieces along your spine. That's how everything's fitting in from the lowest all the way up to the highest. Integrating, integrating these new energies, new situations, new people, attracting. And, and it's all easier than the last time, okay? Much, much. It's because our awareness has expanded, you know? So I feel like it's easier. Though it's stranger, it's easier. That's what I feel. Okay, we're going to do a key card. I always ramble, and I'm sorry. It's just trying to interpret the energy and the feelings that I get. 
Okay, let's see which card speaks to me. Ego medicine. Okay. Um, the, the eagle, of course, representing the heavenly realms. Medicine. What I see this as is, um, I see, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the eagle fly above the earth and it's dropping pellets out of his mouth, right? Birds of prey do that, but it's medicine. This is medicine coming out. Okay. And and then what happens when something drops out of a bird? It drops into the soil and that starts, it fertilizes and creates more growth. Okay. So beings from above. This is, this is related to what we saw last week. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of beings they are. It doesn't matter if they're benevolent or, you know, you might think they're malevolent. It, it doesn't matter because no matter what's coming out of their mouth, it all fertilizes all of it from the d- blackest raven to the bald eagle. It does, it all fertilizes us. It's all fertilized us. I feel like there's been two different entities at work here, the more negative side and the more positive. And it, of course, has worked out for the good, despite the intentions of some of the negative. It's all been medicine. Okay. So I could be more explicit, but I don't know how much we're ready for here. I just, I feel like, I do feel like these are spiritual beings from other places. And whatever they have done in mixing with the earthly realm, no no matter it has all been to heal us. Despite the intention of it or anything else, it has all been worked out for our good. And it is healing earth. So now I feel like the next... I, I feel like um, we're getting the eye of the eagle and the perspective of the eagle, and then we take on that job too. Okay? That's it. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, again, parables. So we talk in symbolism, we talk in riddles, and then you can take that symbolism and relate it to your life for the week. But it's being taught to us as an overall picture of the transformation, the evolution of humanity. That's how it's being taught to us. And then you can take out the the stage that you're in this week and relate it to your life, okay? Okay. I almost feel like it's going to continue to come out that way. So though we're talking about your week and the energies that you might face this week, we're also learning. We're also learning something really deep. So super interesting. It's blind territory for me because I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the actual origins of man, though it seems to be coming through a little quicker. Um, So we'll see what the Spirit has to say next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good week.